Hi, I'm Jeff Peary, General Manager at Soundwater Technologies, and I'd like to introduce you to the Orcus, the easiest and most efficient flow meter available. In this short video, we'll show you just how easy it is to install and use. But first, let's take a quick look at the components and technology behind the meter. First, the anatomy. On the end, there's an electronics housing containing a power switch with LED indicator, a Bluetooth device, 12 hour nickel metal hydride battery, and a USB charging port. The rest of the meter consists of two acoustic transducers, two adjustment knobs to move each transducer, an integrated ruler, two cam cleats with rubber straps for fast, secure mounting, and our unique footing that ensures a great fit on pipes up to 20 inches in diameter. With the flow meter mounted on a pipe, the transducers emit and receive ultrasonic pulses. Flow rate is calculated based on the time it takes an ultrasonic pulse to leave one transducer, bounce off the opposite wall of the pipe, and then be received by the other transducer. Once the system knows the pipe and liquid parameters, it calculates flow rate and transmits a Bluetooth signal to your mobile device via Soundwater's Orcus app. It's incredibly simple, but it is essential that you properly set up your flow meter for optimal accuracy. First, be sure to top off the battery charge on your flow meter. Fully charged, the battery will last up to 12 hours. Only use the power charger supplied with your flow meter kit. Any other charger may not properly charge your flow meter. Next, download the Soundwater Orcus app to your device. It can be found at the Apple Store for Apple devices or at Google Play for Android devices. Now let's launch the app to set your unique installation parameters. You'll first be prompted to enter a location. Doing this stores the location's parameters, allowing you to take instant measurements at frequently visited locations. Starting with units, choose either metric or English and the unit of measurement you want for flow rate, volume, and velocity. For display, choose what you want to be displayed on the readout. Simply drag and drop the two measurements you want to view. For pipe, all of the parameters will affect your flow measurement, so be as accurate as possible. Most of this information is readily available on the outside of your pipe. If you are dealing with a common pipe stock, such as Schedule 40 PVC, as seen here, simply choose it from the dropdown, set the nominal size and wall thickness. The rest of the data will be filled in for you. Then move on to pipe liner. If there's no liner, just choose no. Finally, select the type of liquid flowing through your pipe. Some fluid, such as water, will have an option for temperature. You must select a value, although it only needs to be your best guess. This helps to ensure optimal accuracy. Once all of your pipe parameters have been entered, the proper spacing between transducers is displayed here. Adjust the transducer spacing by loosening the black knobs. Move the transducers to the appropriate spacing and retighten. Then move the transducers vertically by rotating the silver knobs counterclockwise until they are above the sensor footings. Add a liberal amount of coupling gel to the transducer faces, then place the sensor on the pipe at approximately 45 degrees off vertical. Rotate the silver knobs clockwise to lower the transducers onto the pipe surface. With a good signal, the meter will respond within seconds. And that's it. Soundwater's Orcus flow meter makes flow measurement that easy. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at soundwatertech.com.